Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel, Dodgy Gamer here, and yes, I'm still pissed off about that stoppage time equaliser against Burkina Faso in our previous game. Anyway, if you want to make me feel better, well, why not hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, get the notification bell on, this is your one-stop shop for all things international management on FM21, as well as these Let's Plays. We've got guides, we've got an experiment coming up, lots of international action. Make sure you're subscribed for it. But now, let's see if we can get Sierra Leone out of the group stage at the African Cup of Nations. And the other match in our group has already been played and we've had quite the shock. Burkina Faso got the win against Algeria, beating them 1-0. So that throws the group wide open. Group F, if we just have a look. So we're right down here at the bottom. Burkina Faso, top on four points. Algeria, three points with a win and a loss. Us and Gabon still to play our second game. So a win today would put us level with Burkina Faso. A draw would mean we need a result against Algeria in our final game. A defeat would, well, mean we need a result against Algeria in our final game. But we're going to get straight into it. We're naming a pretty much unchanged team uh, to start with, at least. And hopefully we're going to get slightly better action in the first half and we're going to be able to hold on to our lead if we get one. All right, then the teams come out. We're getting ready to play. We're back in green today. Gabon in white. Interesting fact. I used to live in Gabon, believe it or not, from 2014 to 2016. I lived in Libreville, worked at a school there. Beautiful country. Would love to go back someday. But today we're supporting Sierra Leone. And here we come. Chalaba picks up the ball. Is he going to spread it out wide? He tries to. But Gabon on the counter-attack now. Oh, the shot goes wide. Okay, we've got the ball now. The Gabonese attack has just broken down. Chabola plays it inside to Kamara. Kamara plays the through ball to Alhaji. Alhaji gets the goal, his second goal of the tournament. Get in, come on. We need this win. A win here, that would pretty much guarantee us, even if we lose against Algeria in the final game and end up third in the group, I think four points would put us through. So... This, this is vital. We've got to get this. All right, we clear it out of defense. Bundu comes inside, gets dispossessed, but we stay. We keep hold of possession. Prince Barry to Kai Kai. Chaloba. We get it into Al Haji. Al Haji. Oh, Kargbo gets past his man and he scored. He scored. Yes. Okay, we won't get ahead of ourselves. We were 2 0 up against Burkina Faso and then 3 0 up. And we know what happened there. But that was a well-worked goal. Great play from Kargbo that even when that challenge went in, he just kept going. Got goal side of the defender. Wrong-footed the keeper. Placed his shot. Lovely stuff. A half-time comes. Our two-goal lead is intact. Gabon haven't threatened much so far. Just the two shots. Nothing on target. But we've got to contain them in the second half as well. So team talk wise in the break we went with don't get complacent which they reacted well to we've got to make sure that we don't concede an early goal here Dumbaya looks like he's been a bit of a dumbass and he's going to get himself sent off here great oh fantastic it's like Comoros all over again I right, don't have another left back available because of course he's injured great so we're going to bring on by Kamara, who's a right back. We'll just have to move him out to the left. Okay, so Kai Kai, who was our starting right back, he can actually play on the left, so we've moved him over by Kamara. Then in the right back position, I'm thinking, do we drop Kamara back to a defensive central midfielder? Would that be dropping back too much? Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll do it for now. We'll rely on the flanks to keep us in this. All right, here we go. It's us deep into the gap on half. Cargbo heads just over. Oh, if we could have scored that, we would have been in a very strong position. Gabon have just now, as I'm talking, had their first shot on target. So they're not still not threatening us there. XG's still low, but of course, 
that extra man is going to tell uh, the more the match goes on. Right, here we go. 20 minutes to play. We've got the ball. Oh, Chalaba gave it away. Won it back, gave it away again. Great bit of play from him there. Now, Uvuna has run all the way into the box and we've given away a penalty. Oh, my God. Oh, we don't want to win this, I think. We've... <laughs> 2-0 up at half time. We had a player sent off within minutes of the restart, and now we've given away a penalty when Gabon have not really threatened our goal at all in this game. We've given them a cheap way back into the match. Right, I'm dropping that back to standard. I'd left it on high. So we'll, we'll just sit slightly deeper. Uh, we're obviously not going to use get stuck in. Okay, not at the moment. And then I think we need to tell them to... We want to tell them to hold their shape, or do we want to keep the counter on? I want to keep the counter on, basically. And then we've got a bit of time wasting on... Oh, let's maybe lower the tempo a little and just try to hold on to the ball, be a bit more disciplined. Right, hopefully. We've got one substitution left. We'll use that late on to try and eat up some time remaining on the clock. Okay, we've got the ball. Promising start. Just don't give it away, Mido. We gave it away. Oh no, here comes Gabon. Bloody hell, what is going on in this tournament? Oh no, I just get a sense of dread every time there's a highlight now. And bloody hell, we've thrown it away. Right, we're going with two up top. I don't care what anyone says. It might not be the wisest thing to do. But we brought on Kai Kamara, who's going to be our target man. Mido's just going to have to marshal the... Defence uh, on his own, or cover the defence, sorry. Kai Kai, complete wing back. By Kamara, complete wing back. Why not? And we're putting a fire up shout there, of course, as well. <sighs> Can we get something from this? No, probably not. Gabon, score again. Now well, they continue to torture us with Gabonese highlights here. Oh, I can't believe we bottled such a winning position. Oh, my God. Well, that was shit. We were 2-0 up. Oh, that sending off was just ridiculous and then giving away a penalty. Oh, and then after that, there was only one thing that was going to happen. Mai getting his little eight-minute hat-trick. Right, so all we have to do to qualify now is beat Algeria, the defending champions. Now, of course, Burkina Faso beat them in the previous game, so it's not impossible. Also, in a previous save with postcards from Comoros, we beat Algeria in this exact position when we had to win our final game to get through to the knockout round. So, let's see. Maybe we can do something here. I've made quite a few changes. Obviously, we changed the left back, so rights come in. Uh, in place of Dumas Dumbaya. Uh, he's now fit again, of course. And then we've got uh, Mido starting. We've got Samora. We're going with the guy from the Loyal. He's going to be right there in that Shadow Striker role. Um, we've put just as we had in that second half against Burkina Faso. So Kagbo's going to play as the inverted winger. Bio Turai's coming on as the inside forward. Hopefully that's going to get us the win that we need. It could end up being a Pyrrhic victory. As you see, we've got six players in the starting lineup who are carrying a yellow card, two more on the bench. Right, we're underway then in this final group stage game. Anything can happen. I don't particularly have high hopes of us getting through, but who knows? Who knows? Right, Algeria with a free kick, first action of the game, and oh, at least it's offside, okay. Whew, we got away with that one. Yeah, we can see here when Gigot takes his shot, there's two players there between the defenders and the goalkeeper. Obviously, they clearly unsighted him, so good call by the referee on this occasion. But here come Algeria again, one of the top sides in the entire continent of Africa. So, you know, this was, game was always going to be difficult. Koroma, oh, I brought, changed the goalkeeper as well. I forgot to mention that he makes the save at his near post. The good stuff from him. Let's hope, you know, he can make a few more of those saves when called upon. 
Okay, right, as we get to the end of the half, we finally get another highlight. And it's Algeria building from the back. Can we pressure them into giving it away? No, Silmani gets through and scores. Ah, uh, just when you thought we were going to hold on to take that nil-nil into half time. Algeria do what they've been threatening to do for most of the game. Long ball over the top, flick on, route one stuff, but simple but effective. And they've taken the lead. Of course, the difficulty here is normally a narrow defeat to Algeria or a draw against Algeria would be a perfectly fine, respectable result. But we have to win if we're to stand any chance of reaching the next round. Right, Algeria with the first action of this second half, but they've given it away to Al Haji. Al Haji turns his man, he's bearing down on goal, and he's equalised. Get in! Yes, that's just what we needed at the start of this second half. We need to get another one, of course. But look at that. Oh, he just he was in the right place to intercept that. Turned his man beautifully all the way into the box. Unstoppable freight train. Choo choo. Right, Chalabaz picked up a knock, so I think it's time we took him off. We rotated a bit. Mido comes out into the deep line playmaker position. Samura drops back, and Key comes on as a substitute in that shadow striker role. Actually, I'm going to switch him to an advanced playmaker, see if that gives us a bit more creativity in breaking down that Algerian defense. Right, 25 minutes left on the clock. Here come Algeria into our box. Mahrez. Mido gets the clearance in, but only as far as the Algerian defence. Bayaturai, can he win this back? No. <laughs> oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. He's just got himself sent off, hasn't he? Wonderful. So, I guess Key can play out on the wings. And now we really do need a miracle. Right, we're going to bring on Bundu because he can actually play. On the right, he can be our inside forward there. We'll make him put him on attack. Ooh, Algeria with a corner. It could be all over here, but luckily they head over. 15 minutes left. We're going to have to, at some point, get a bit drastic. If it stays at 1-1, we've got to chase the winner somehow. Right, then into the final five minutes, it's time to... Get a bit more attacking, so we will go to attacking. Right, let's get the tempo up. We'll go more direct. We're going to shoot on sight at this point. Stretch the pitch out a bit more, even though we're a man down. I'm going to make one last substitution. Uh, I'm going to bring on Barry for Samura. Samura's run himself into the ground a bit, and then we're going to push Barry, Prince Barry, into his preferred attacking midfield role. Watch now as we concede almost immediately. However, if we don't, this could be one of the greatest comebacks, one of the most unlikely moments in football management history. But here we go. It's Bundu. Bundu, can we do something for Sierra Leone here? He goes for a wild shot. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. And if that's the highlight they're going to show us, I don't hold up much hope. But here we go. We've got the ball again. I think Algeria, have they settled for a point here? Maybe not. Now I've said that. I've tempted fate. And they've played in Slimani. He's played in Bonanza and he just walks it into the net. Oh, and that's it. Overall, I mean, we can't be disappointed with a narrow defeat to Algeria, especially... When we were down to 10 men, there's no disgrace in that. But when it comes to this tournament, I've got to say, to be 3-0 up against Burkina Faso in that first game and then not get the three points, that was, yeah, unforgivable. Um, and then against Gabon, we were cruising... Sending off, we held out and then just gave away a stupid penalty. And at the end of all that, we're bottom with just a point. I mean, we were the weakest team in the group, but disappointing, I think, with, you know, a bit, if we were a bit better organized and just had a bit of luck 
that things working out differently for us on another day, we could have picked up a win out of either that Burkina Faso or Gabon game and got through. But in the end, from our group, that win for Gabon wasn't enough to send them through, actually, on three points, the minus two goal difference, so I'm not entirely convinced. Well, no, actually, sorry, if we had beaten Algeria, we would have been on four points, of course, but, um, yeah, they, it, it was not disappointing in the sense that you know i didn't you wouldn't look at that group and think sierra leone should qualify but as i said the manner of those first two matches that made for disappointment anyway that's probably it for this mini series with sierra leone we got three episodes which is not bad but from here on, we're just going to have African Cup of Nations qualifiers again for the next edition, and then World Cup qualifiers, Wafu Nations Cup, and, you know, the, there's not going to be much else. I don't want to turn this into a long-term career. I want to move on to another tournament and another country, so do let me know down in the comments if you've got any requests, any suggestions, anywhere you'd like to see me go. But for now, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure with Sierra Leone. It gave me an excuse to wear the shirt and you know, justified me buying it in the first place. So thank you very much for that. If you did enjoy the video and the series, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you from another part of the world soon.